Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Well, I'm in the kitchen today, getting ready to can up some green lima beans. I found some more um, that were still on sale. They got some more in the store. They were 99 cent a bag, and it's the Pick Sweet Farms Baby Lima Beans. And there is, uh, how many is in here? Uh, a pound, eight ounces in here so that's just a few of the jars i got the others in the canner i just stuck them in there and made sure they were thawed out and warmed up some and i have warm water in there with a half a teaspoon of canning salt and i used my vinegar and cleaned the rims and put the the lids and rings up there and i've got four more over there in the canner i'm gonna get ready and throw these in here and uh, get to processing. All right, so I've got them in my canner. And remember, what goes on in my kitchen is what I do. And this is not your regular pressure cooker like everybody cans on. I use my Power Pressure Cooker XL. And I have had absolutely no problems at all with this pressure cooker. It's a 10-quart Power Pressure Cooker XL, and I have had absolutely no problems with it. I've been canning with this since um, last summer, and I have been doing it off and on through winter and everything, and I've had no trouble with my canner at all. So anyhow, I'm going to get ready and process these for, I think it's 40 minutes. I'm going to do a double check, but anyway, you check your stuff and make sure you're doing it just right. I'm just showing you what I'm doing today. I'm not giving this a how-to, but I just want to show you what I was doing today to store up food in my pantry. All right, y'all. We'll see you when it's done. All right, guys. So I ended up with seven jars. My eighth jar did not seal. So that's dinner tonight. So I got those done. And also... I decided to can some corn. I also got the uh, Pick Sweet white corn, and it is a pound six ounces. And I had three jar, um, three bags of that, so I ended up having eight jars of the corn that sealed up. So that is awesome for the pantry. That's actually the first corn ever in my pantry, and. Y'all, I've been busy today. I have been canning, canning, canning. Okay, guys, so I did another first time. It's butter. Um, first time canning it. And there's a lot of shaking going on, and I really should have shook it a little bit more. But it's okay. It'll be just fine. There you go, see? It'll be just fine. Anyway, um, it wasn't too aggravating to do. It really was not. I just had to make sure my jars were hot and dry. Make sure the lids the lids were hot. Put the stuff in there. Wipe the rings. Put everything on it. Seal them. Shake, shake, shake till they got cool. And then threw them in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. And shake for every five. And then they were ready to go. And my pressure canner's going off again. Which I'm not going to... Um, I'll wait and show you that when it comes out. So I got more canning coming along. All right, here we go. It's the last of the canning of the day. I did great northerns and large lima beans. And I'm not too happy about the large lima beans. I did them from um, dry, no soak. And they just look like they want to fall apart. They don't look good as the... Uh, great northern so i kind of gonna stay away from them but i wanted to show you what i got canned today and i'm very happy with how everything turned out really excited about that butter i sure will be canning more butter but all of this is really adding up in my pantry thank you guys so much for stopping in we'll see you on the next video bye now